Greetings everyone in YouTube land, YouTube landia. Seems like I'm always starting these videos of me walking out of the house, which is, I don't do very often. Guess how hot it was, it is today. <sighs> well, let me say it's got three numbers in it. Three letters, three not letters, numbers. Anyway, it'll be all right. There's enough breeze here to uh, make it uh, roast you like one of them air fryers. First, let's do. I'll show you the new stuff, the new crappy old stuff. Dirty Dodge, getting a little dirtier from when I washed it a year ago. Here is. The most coolest camouflage patinaed 51 Ford with 49 to 50 tail lights on it. And isn't that some kind of a weird uh, color job, paint job, whatever? I bought it because it had a, I mean, it's got a good body besides a couple of rust places. But the hood was really straight. So it's got the carbled up hood off my 51 on it. Wearing it proud. So, there it says, boy, I like to keep it. You know, I've got 25 cars, and I don't know how many trucks. And, anyway, got the bug, got the sab, sob. That wasn't new. But that 51 was new. Then I run across this. I'll give you two, two uh, chances at guessing what this is. Yes, I know it's an old car. I think it's hmm, 59. I don't know. There it is. It's what they call in England, the mother country. Uh, a, a Cortina GT and they used to race these probably because this is all they had but they rally raced them they road raced them they did all sorts of stuff with them and to them and it being a GT model it's got a tubular intake manifold on it and some headers and abrasive gauges like you've never seen. So, there that is. I made the mistake of it was uh, for sale, make an offer. So, made the mistake of making them an offer and then I had to get it home. This is a cute little car, tiny as it is. And, 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 oh, right here, I was working on the, uh, what's that thing now? It's not a Terminator, it's, it's actually a, an X, but it's a interceptor, yeah, it's an interceptor. Boy, it's got an engine in it huge but the steering doesn't work real good it's really hard to steer so it's got that reactive steering where if you're driving slow it's easy and it, if you're on in a pursuit it gives you more road feel so you can keep it on the road I guess 
Uh, but it's doing the opposite. When it's slow, you can't hardly turn it. And when it's you got it driving down the road at any any speed at all, it's easy. Yeah. Here is the last thing. The next, well, the last thing anyway. Very proud of this. This might be my driving usual truck. And it is of a wonderful rusty, holy rusty shape. For a, it's supposed to be a 49. And I believe it's every every minute of it. I was outside last night because it wasn't a hundred degrees. And I was working on the hood hinges. And uh, it's got lots of cool stuff in the dash. Actually has a floorboard. And I was getting the windows freed up in it. And then working on the hood. But anyway, that's what that is. I'm really proud of it. Of course, I give a bunch of money for it. Because you can't find them anymore, and I'm weak. There it is. I give a little extra for it to get it hauled down from somewhere way up north, north Missouri. So, it was worth it. Because my driving with my legs and stuff is not, I mean, I'm accurate, but oh, I'm pushing that clutch down 18,000 times in my truck is getting a little caggy. But anyway, there it is. Let's see what because what gave me the currency, the money to purchase these two wonderful vehicles was that the blue Jeep is gone, the CJ7, and my army truck has left the building. Soon to be maybe the Bat Chero and about half of these Volkswagens, maybe all of them. Get this front front yard cleaned out, which is there's I think Dad has got three of them, owns three of them, and uh, my neighbor up the road owns the little Pontiac. So. That would be good. Uh, yeah, we'll go in the, in the building. Still playing with the the uh, look at that. Still playing with the the little flat head. I was making some rings for it. I couldn't find any rings to fit it, but I was making some fit, and I got them, some of them made, and I really don't like it, so hopefully I can get the right ones, and there's one of the wrong ones, and I guess it matters what kind of pistons this is, and the pistons I guess, I don't know. This stuff is special to me. That won't be too, it'll go along pretty fast once I get the valve set and the camshaft looked at, the crank looked at and polished. So that's that. Uh, I had somebody wanting to get the fair lane. So I had these GT40 heads. 
and this four barrel Windsor intake in the in the uh, floorboard of it so I got them dug out and cleaned it up a little bit clean the floorboard up and so far it's still sitting there so let's go in y'all see the 51 okay uh, we had a heck of a storm and it caused a leak up in there and I've been sanded in on this top of course it's got more dents in it than uh, anything else so I put this on there to keep some of the water off but anyway I'm gonna hit it with some Hit it with some uh, old super duper primer stuff that does everything. Starting to rust again. And then I'll be ready for some color. And then I'll be ready for some clear. And the rest of this, this will be white up, up to this curve here, which I manufactured that curve with a paint lid. It'll be white up to there. And uh, the rest of it will be that blue metal flecky stuff. So that's that, and the little roadster still sitting there in the corner, and uh, this little rascal's all runs as good as it's going to run, which is, you know, really good. So there that is. Can't ask for no better. Uh, dirty workbench. And I think that's it. So there we go. The last thing I know about Rusty Acres is that he's going home or he's home now they turned him loose from the hospital where he had COVID so they put a tube in his nose and they just sent him home not to die but to get better because they understand, and everybody else does, that the hospital, hospitals, plural, are not the safest place to be right now. Let me turn this over. And we'll turn this over. Boy, I need a... I need a... Uh, Cameraman, I guess. What should be what would look good under that? Y'all help me look. Uh, 1937 pieces of cardboard. There. I don't fall over. Uh, anyway, let me get my legs in here. So they sent sent him home and he had oxygen on his nose and stuff. So that's good. That's that's a prayer uh, that's been answered. And uh, that's wonderful. Now we just got to pray for, we'll continue praying. We'll pray for everybody else that's in this stuff. 
and hope that the people that don't have it won't get it. Washer. That washer was so big, he had call signs on his side. Golly. Must have been one of them killer China Oscar ones, anyway. So, uh, not been doing too much. Been on the flat side most of the time. And I come out here at night and put a few bolts in. Not before last, I come out here and put a cotter key in. That was really good. That's one step forward. And uh, last night, I come out here and put two or three bolts in the hood of the Studebaker truck. Put them three in there. And I think before that, maybe a Monday of some sort, I uh, drilled out some rivets and fixed the hood, uh, the hood springs on the, uh, on the little board, so the hood will close on it, and as you've seen, it was closed on the little GT car. So I guess anything is going forward, but it's not. It uh, what I can do is is not very much, and I'm frustrated because I can't just go out here and do the power hours and stuff like that. I did I could do when I was your age, which I'm not complaining too much because I could still move around and goob around and stuff. So that's a blessing. I think that's all I got. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, you rascal, you dirt dauber. They're everywhere. So, uh, I'll uh, make another one as soon as I can do some more. Uh, the the Studebaker pickup got me excited about it. So that makes the... I just lost the shoe. Come here. So that makes the 51 in Yanner not as popular with what I'm doing. So that's bad. When it gets so close I could see it and taste it. But, it's just the way it is. I'm going to do the fun stuff first. That way, if uh, the Lord comes by in the bus, I'm going to get on the bus. I'm not going to worry about finishing anything because I've already got the goodie off of it. It's like uh, when you eat a Tootsie Roll, you don't eat the package. Or when you uh, eat one of them uh, Tootsie Pops, you don't eat the stick. So you just get the goodie off of it and go on. Uh, that's it. Nothing else is going on. Uh, hopefully, my and a person that will hang out and hold on to where I can play with the with the replacing the other two bolts in uh, the Studebaker hood and get it closing and opening because I think it's going to be closed and opened a lot. So I got to do huh, I got to do some rewiring on it. Well, I got to rewire the whole smear like I did the 51. So, that'll be good. I don't know if it's even a six, it, surely the goodness, being a 49, it's six volt. 
but it makes a little bit of difference if it's positive ground or earth or negative ground or earth so but if I rewire the whole smear I'll make it right so all right y'all take care of each other and uh, keep praying on these folks that are puny and the ones that are well too so uh, tell somebody you love them and then do it because boy this world is it changes every day I guess it used to always change every day but I didn't pay attention to it now it's got big changes and it's doing it okay Sorry, not just senior reaches.